Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to get all of your OBS filters moved across over so you can use them in Discord. So it's quite an easy process, but there are a couple of things you're going to need to do first. So the first thing you are going to need to do is to grab the VB audio software. So you can choose these options here for a download with a donation. Otherwise you can just grab this one just here. Uh, for Windows or Mac. So I've already grabbed this one. So I'll just minimize that, jump over to File Explorer. So that's the file there. Just extract it onto your computer. Once you've extracted it, just enter the folder and you'll see these two options here. Uh, install 64-bit if you have 64-bit, otherwise you can use the other one. Importantly here, make sure you right click on it and go run as administrator and you'll get the standard installation. I've already installed it, so I'm just going to close this window. I'm also going to close out a file explorer and jump straight over to OBS now. So once you have it installed, you can go to OBS and start setting things up. So I'm recording at the moment, so I'm going to hopefully be able to do this properly, but we'll see. So now that you have it installed, go to settings in OBS. Here, change to the audio tab and scroll down to advanced. And you will see here the new option for cable input. So just change it to that one. If you use one of the donation links, it might be a little bit different, but otherwise just select cable input. Leave the two options set as default. I haven't really noticed any difference, but if you want to experiment later on, feel free. Once you've done that, click apply then close out of it. Now the important thing here is to go to mic and auxiliary, go to the dots, Go to advanced audio properties and here it is important to change the mic auxiliary to monitor and output so pick monitor and output the tracks can stay as default they're probably all ticked anyway once you've done that close out and you also need to make sure that you have your filters on the actual mic one so for me i have mine saved to the audio input capture so if you want to copy them across to a different uh, input just click the dots go copy filters and then go back over to your other one and go paste filters. That's a quick way to swap your filters across. So now that we have OBS configured, we can go over to discord. So here is discord. Simply go to settings here, go down to voice and audio and you'll see the cable output option here. So make sure that is set and that will carry across your filters from OBS. Now you will need to make sure OBS is running in the background while you're using this, otherwise it's not going to work. That's the only cost to this entire process. But OBS is pretty resource friendly, so it's not going to be too much of an issue. Now the most important thing of all inside of Discord is to make sure you have all of the other voice filters disabled because you're doing that in OBS. So scroll down the list on the voice and video page and you'll see a section here for voice processing. Just make sure echo cancelling, noise suppression is set to none as well. And then turn off the automatic gain. And the rest of the options outside of that are entirely up to you. As long as the noise suppression and the other ones are off, everything will be working fine. So that's the entire process. You can now use all of your voice filters from OBS in Discord or any other app on your computer. So if you want to use it in Skype, Snapchat, whatever you're using, just change over to the cable option and you're good to go. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on another video. Cheers everyone.